Yeah. Um, so a house would be more ideal. We'll check to make sure that the garden's secure, so there's no holes that dogs right. can escape from. The fences are high enough so it's not jumping over. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm not being detained. Though. You're not being detained as yet. No, you're not. You are free to go if oh, you want cool. to. Or do you understand what I'm saying? No, yeah, you made, you made it that very clear. Yeah. All okay. Right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. No worries. Just... Yeah. Ah! program i don't know the terminology etc and brood bitch uh, handler right that's okay. it i've asked the lady she told me All information right, okay. that's it um i've come in um and i found he's been sitting there standing up on the bench talking to him five minutes and this gentleman has then um finished talking to her and then gone up he's been filming all the time and he's been quite open about it he has um said to the the, the female staff member that he does youtube and he's admitted that that's fine um, I know I've had some information to say that he's been in the whelping area, wherever that is. The where, sorry? Um, the whelping area. Where is that? I think that's where the kennels is. I don't, I don't know the terminology. Mm. Um, so I need to find out what this staff member has said. Um, I have explained to this gentleman, he's not, he's not detained at the moment time. He is free to go at any time. Um, but I've just explained to him I am going to try and find out exactly where he's been. Oh, yeah. um, I promise you I did not jump any barriers or anything like that. Yeah, no, I, t I, I understand what you're saying. Or oh, force right. any if, gates or if, I'll, I'll doors. Ask you, I'll ask you, please, Nothing. Just, just, to, just to remain with the officers. You know, I know you're filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally I was filming all the, all the way through. All the way through. I didn't but stop. I just need to find out what's been happening. All right. I accept what you're saying. That there's no barrier. There's no where to Nothing. Say I just... Uh, you first thing you see is a uh, report to reception. Yeah. Which I have. Yeah. And then the reception was closed. Nobody yeah. there. Yeah. So I walked a little bit forward. Yeah. I got attention from the the staff. Yeah. They saw me. They yeah. came out. Yeah. And I chatted to her like, and then you saw the rest. To be honest. Oh. Right. That's it. Just remain here for the moment. Yeah, she was very friendly. You're not, you're she not, was friendly you're too. Not, you're not detained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not under yeah. arrest. Yeah. Well, just ask you to just, as a matter of courtesy, just wait for the office while I just speak to the member of staff, just to make sure everything's clear. Uh, I understand what's happened. Okay. All right. Oh. Do you, do you rather me showing you where I've been? No, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. sure. All right. <sighs> Did you guys come for me or? I was just going back. <laughs> oh. I was going back for lunch. Shit. What the heck? Get out the road. Sorry? Yeah, get out of the road. Yeah, it's not, it's not safe. It's alright. That's why I'm standing over it. Get out of the road. It's alright, there's no cars. Relax. Relax, my friend. There's no cars. You can't speak to me like that, get out of the road. What's the matter? Well, you stand in the middle of a road. Yeah, you can. There's no cars. There's no cars coming. Nothing is going on. My friend, the way you're speaking to me, I didn't like that at all. Seriously. Well, listen the first time then. Yeah, but you can, I'm, I'm older than you probably. No, no, I don't think I am. I can cross the road, I can be on the road. What's the matter with you? Seriously, man. Well, especially if you park like this. How, how, how am I supposed to walk? You see? See what I'm saying? So I have to be on the road to walk to the other side. There's no need to be rude like that. Huh? But I don't want to get my Nike dirties. You know, you've got boots. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Take care. Ugh. <sighs> Rudeness.
Seriously, man. I don't know, I've got a feeling they might arrest me. Probably all right to go now, yeah? You're not no. the same. So. Yeah. Well, like I said, he's just going to find out what's going on and come back yeah. to speak to you. I don't want you to chase me halfway down there. <laughs> hey, they're my Dr. Martins, aren't they? They are, yeah. A bit dirty now, but yeah, they are. That's not uh, pretty, uh, provided by the, the force, is it? The force doesn't provide any boots. You have to buy your own. Seriously? You all have to buy your boots? What? Oh, right. How do you know that? No, surely these are provided by the force. No. no, no, no. Got that I saw a lot, uh, lot of officers wearing these. <laughs> but a lot of you guys wearing these? Yeah, Magnums. Very popular. So you buy them off the force? No, no. You buy them in the shop? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh right. So you just have to have uh, black shoes or? Yeah. Do they, have, do they, have, to, do they have to be safety? No. Metal toe? Sense. Metal toe? Or? No, no. No. Safety-ish. Just safety-ish. Right. Oh, I didn't know you had to buy your own. That's a bit out of order, really. Yeah. That's, a, that's a bit wrong, isn't it? You um, get tax relief, the uniform tax. So if you have to wash your uniform or buy your own boots, right. you get some form of tax relief, which means that you pay maybe about 50%. Well, right. 50 pounds less. So you're the clever one, Dr. Martins is the right choice. <laughs> I don't blame you. Did you walk here? I parachuted. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is so just, honestly, beyond a joke. Honestly, I went in there, spoke to the lady, she was so lovely. I was just passing by. She gave me so much information, and then all this. And I, I don't want to walk away so you guys are going to run after me, just no. in case. This guy is not very happy. Are you after adopting Possibly, yeah, possibly. I've got this interest in dogs all of a sudden. So I just went to ask for information, that's all it is. Which she gave me the info. So I don't know why she done all that. And I, I was quite, how do you say, transparent with it. I said, uh, I told on my YouTube channel, I told everything. Do you have a YouTube channel? I, I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one you mentioned earlier. What do you think Yeah, yeah. Is that what you do? Sorry, that's my channel, yeah, yeah. What do you think Yeah. So it's very transparent with really. her, so, so I really don't get what, why she called you guys. What? You were just passing by. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the uh, sergeant, uh, yeah, the sergeant was present, he saw that, he was pretty cool. You all agree this is open, right? Yeah. You all agree it says report to the reception? Yeah. What's the issue then?
Jan, jag har i hejs med mig. Tack för att du var här. Vad? Du var här med dig? Nej, jag jobbar med honom ibland. Vad? Jag jobbar med honom ibland. Ja, right. Han är skrumpig, man. Jag vet inte. Jag vill inte ha gravitet med mig lite mer, men han är klart. 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 Han I'll have to earn my parachute. <laughs> 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 of course. Of course. <laughs> I think it's all cool. It must be all cool. You know, when, you know, when police congregate like that and start thinking about something, it's usually you get arrested. I've got a feeling I might get arrested. But that would be like crazy if I do. Not being part of that conversation. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, it'd be absolutely mad. You can't go and ask for information and get arrested. See. It's pointless me walking, I know I'm not being detained, but it's pointless me walking and you're coming after me. So I just wait. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. It's bad because I can see they're looking for something to, to do with it. There's no need. There's absolutely no need. If I walk up there now, they will get aggravated, wouldn't they? Yeah. 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 Probably better stay with you. Dispatch from. So I actually work here. Oh, you work here? Oh! I'm just going back to have my lunch. Oh, That's right. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, so, so I wasn't like deployed to. You actually work here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. You work with uh, Deal with Dogs? No, no, no. Here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, I noticed there's a yellow phone in there. Yellow, you know, like uh, during 101. Oh, right, yeah. You know, uh, where you go, reception? Uh, on the left hand side is uh, a yellow box. You know, yellow box, you know what I mean, yeah? Yeah. 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 So that's uh, technically that's open for public. Yeah. You never saw that yellow box? <laughs> yellow phone, yellow phone, yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um... So I'm assuming that people can use that yellow phone, right? Also, the fact that you work here, do you think, is there any chance I can look around the car? I can't even look around the car. You can't even look around the car? I'm not even around the What, with the dogs? Is there any, um, the dog handlers are allowed in here? Because really, there's no to play with the dogs. Not inside, I mean, for, you know, like get a little bit closer, let's say over there. You can hear them all barking. I just yeah. want to see like the condition that they're living in and all that. Like I said to your colleague, I'm not one of them uh, animal uh, like, right yeah. protector. I'm not sure. Alright. Oh man. I think we had a... There was an opening day recently. Is there? Okay. Um, so they might do them every now and again. So if you really want to visit. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, but an open day, you're likely going to make it look good. Play with the puppies as well. So. You guys play with them <laughs> as well. Cool. Day, yeah. Do you own a dog yourself or? No, no, no. no. Yeah. You can hear them barking. Yeah. That's a. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm rather disappointed in this. Yeah. yeah, very. It's weird because you know you speak to uh, another person, you know, it's just in a very polite and manner, and then yeah. uh, they call the police on you. It's, it makes no sense to me. Yeah. It's absolutely no sense. 
Huh? I don't know what to say about that. Really. I don't know. I was, uh, I was rather polite. She was polite too. That's the best part of it. Yeah. So it's, it makes no sense why she called the police. Dude. Alright, they're coming. Moment of truth. The boss man? Yeah. Oh, the angry man? No. Oh, the sergeant. The, the sergeant is cool. Yeah. The sergeant is very cool. But your, your, the other guy is very angry. I try not, I try not to antagonize him. Yeah, usually I do, I do antagonize him. Oh dear. Here comes trouble. Yeah, he's put his camera on, that means I'm in trouble. Just can you wait from the road slightly? Yeah. Right, so my name's Fergal Shark and I'm a police sergeant based here at this, this, yeah. this, this police station here. All right. Um, I've spoken to two members of staff now in relation yeah. to what's happened. Okay. Yeah. At this moment in time, I'm not sat quite satisfied with. with um, what's happened here? Okay. All right. Okay. So I am going to formally arrest you. Oh, really? Okay. On suspicion of being found on enclosed premises, you do not have to say anything. They may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later on in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Okay. Okay. What we'll do, we'll take you to custody and we'll interview you in relation to why you've been found here. Do you understand? Nice. Right. Okay. Your arrest is necessary for a prompt enough. Uh, effective investigation of this matter to make sure we interview and get your account. All right? Really? Okay. Thanks very much. Just come with me, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. I should sit. Turn that off because that's being seized, okay, and it's going to be in a police station, okay. Otherwise, I'm going to it's going to record brand. stuff okay, yeah. that you're not privy to. So it needs to go off. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know it needs saying. to go off yeah. because otherwise, you're not going to have it back, are you? Because it's going to have sensitive information on that because it's going to be in a police station. 
It's just going to have to be retained. Oh yeah, because you can't have it back in yeah. other positions. If he wants to, if he doesn't want to turn it off, then we're just going to have to retain it. He just can't have it back because he's going to have sensitive data on it. Isn't it? Yeah, guys, as you can see, I got uh, arrested, and uh, from there, uh, I got driven away to Stutford Police Station, which is about 12 miles away, I believe. Uh, yeah, I was driven by these two police officers. Uh, very glad it wasn't the other two because uh, they weren't that bad, they were quite nice. Uh, I had uh, a very long conversation with her, just in general, she knew I was always in Britain. Uh, yeah, she was just talking, she doesn't agree with what I do, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, she, she was just giving her opinion, which is fair enough. Uh, she also mentioned that the order for me to be arrested actually came from above. Uh, if I remember, she actually said the chief constable, but I might be wrong. 
Anyway, uh, the male officer, however, all he wanted is his sandwich. <laughs> just, honestly, he just doesn't care at all. Uh, I had to queue a little bit uh, after that. Uh, eventually, I got to the custody sergeant. I tried to convince her to not check me in and that uh, the premises weren't enclosed because obviously they arrested me for being in closed premises. Uh, she wasn't having it. She carried on and checked me in. Eventually, uh, by four o'clock, I was in the cell. So <laughs> I asked for a pen and paper, which uh, the sergeant uh, gave me. I also asked for pace. And then from there, I started taking notes, as you can see. Pace, that's what arrived. July 2006, obviously out of date. Just jokers. Oop. I'll tell you about that card later. Uh, yeah, so I just uh, sat in the, in the cell and just taking notes. Uh, 5.20, they came and asked me my nationality, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, sorry, I missed this bit. Uh, they bought me coffee and uh, food, a tuna pasta bake. <laughs> There's the box. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at the ingredients. I actually bought it with me. Uh, I was absolutely starving. So, uh, believe it or not, I actually ate this. <laughs> Look at it. I can't believe I actually ate that. It's disgusting. Anyway, so, so that's that. Uh, 5.35, I asked for fresh air. Uh, uh, and then after that, yeah, I did a thousand press ups divided by 100. <laughs> uh, what else? Eventually, by 9.40, I was informed that my solicitor has arrived. And then they bought me my the second worst meal of my life. I mean, this was bad. A cottage pie, which I actually put in the freezer. I could not. With this one, I could not. Eat it. I just took a bite and it's it just disgusting. There you go. Feel free to look at the ingredients. Now check this out, guys. It's it's actually uh, parked in Yorkshire and made in Germany. Now why why would you get a British dish made in Germany? If you're going to be lazy about it, at least get the French to do it. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, t -t 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 yeah, what's happened? Oh, also, I forgot to show this. Uh, I managed to draw the cell. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Let's get a bit closer so you can see exactly that. Literally. So if any of you ever spent the night there, I'm sure you can confirm this. Yeah, so eventually my uh, solicitor arrived. And the interview began at this time. What time was it? 2320. Present was PC25580 Howell and also PC23758 O, o Gorman or whatever. Right. Now, I need to tell you about somebody very, very special. The solicitor. So yeah, my solicitor finally arrived. Uh, what's the best way of describing her to you? She was, uh, she was quite a short lady, small built. Uh, I would say from an Afro-Caribbean background with a Brummy accent. Uh, yeah, she had a, a beanie hat and my guess is she definitely had like a, a Rasta, Rasta underneath her hat. Yeah, very interesting lady. Uh, first thing she goes, have a seat. And I sat down on a chair. She goes, don't sit over there, sit over the other side. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Fill up that form. Not that form. Use capital letters. <laughs> she was just crazy. She was just shouting at me and all sorts. And I thought, I found that quite funny. She kind of woke me up. You need to understand that after, I don't know, 11 or 12 hours, I was absolutely shattered. And the energy that she brought in into that room was just, it was, it was quite amazing. Uh, yeah, and uh, 
Yeah, she started explaining, I need to do this, I need to do that. But the way she was talking to me, it's as if she was like my mother or something, or my teacher. And I even said that to her, I said, I feel like I'm back to school now. And uh, yeah, then she said, though, right, they're going to ask you three questions. They're going to ask you this, you have to say this. Yeah, they're going to ask you that, you have to say that. Then they're going to ask you this, you say this. Because then the interview will begin, and they will ask you questions, and you zip it. <laughs> <laughs> she said it like, <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. She was just amazing. She goes, just wasting my time. She said, I spent one hour talking to them when you were in the cell. And I told them, if this goes to court, I will wipe the floor with you and blah, blah, blah. She goes, they have no evidence. They have no grounds, no nothing. She said, you're not going to get charged. And I told her, I said, look, I said, I think they will charge me. She said, they don't like me. She said, I know, I realized that. She said, they were saying, like, uh, what, you do something for a job to do with the police. I said, yes, they don't like me, and I'm pretty sure they're going to charge me. She goes, look, don't worry, they will not charge you. She said, if they do, she said, I will mop the floor with them in court. So, yeah, guys, I will leave you a link in the description to her website, and I'll ask you to leave a nice review on my behalf. Also, please, uh, the information on the card to use for business only. Uh, she operates in Birmingham, so, you know, she, she, she's quite handy. Uh, if any of you wants to use her services, feel free to use them. Yeah, so I was uh, put back in my cell. And uh, an hour later, the two interviewing officers came back and, uh, to my cell and uh, told me that no further action. Uh, uh, yeah, so they gave me pretty much all my stuff back. Uh, didn't have much, just my hats, my other phone. Can't remember what else. It was something else came over. It was, uh, yeah. But the, the main phone that I was recording with, they didn't have it handy. It wasn't seized or anything, like I said previously in the video. But they didn't have it handy with them and they couldn't give it to me. So uh, I was given certain information. Uh, to ring a certain sergeant in the morning, to ring 101, blah, blah, blah. I was too tired by then. I was absolutely shut in. Uh, I had no money on me whatsoever. Obviously, because I don't have my phone with me as well, I cannot use Apple Pay. Uh, so, yeah, they asked me this. I said, no, I don't have any of that. So, they offered me... Oh, there's uh, the other item. The third item was my car key. Uh, yeah, I told them my car is back at the training center. So they had no other option than to drive me there. Yes, as they are responsible for me, I think, 24 hours after my release. I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, so I had the pleasure to be driven by the two interviewing officers. And uh, I filmed some of it. <laughs> Watch. So what's the time now? The time now is two, uh, two, two past two. Two in the morning, Line finally it. released. Holly Line, yeah. Holly Line. What's the name of this station? I can't remember. I know this been... station? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Currently, Stetford. St yeah, yeah, I know I've been here before, but... Hello, can you say bubbles speaking? Yeah. Can you give me one second? Yeah, that's alright, yeah. How many miles is it today? Pardon? How many miles is it, do you know? Uh, 12, it's saying on this. 12 miles? Oh, bloody hell. So how come it was no further action? Is that because... Do you know why? Or you just want to go and no comment? No comment? No, no, no. Sorry? The custody sergeant explained why it was no further action. He didn't really. He just saying he was just talking about me killing myself and all that stuff. I mean, it's taken like 11 hours out of my life. I understand. The worst part is I missed my football. I don't support anyone, I was, I was supposed to play football. Oh, you were supposed to play football? Yeah. Do you play for a team? Yeah, no, well, yeah, well, kind of, like, not a serious team, like, you know, mates and stuff.
So yeah, this is crazy. That's all right. Are we enjoying the ride? Are we back on track now? Or? No, we need to go back. Uh, back oh, game back, game back, game back. Game back. Go left. I would go left. Continue on Chester Road, though. Oh, but now it's fine going up there. Yeah, yeah I think you don't know where that car's going. Far away. Is that where we go? Yeah. Look, what's this to go here? Down that road. Where we've just no, passed. So don't look yeah, where we've just passed.
Yes, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely the right place. Uh, here? Uh, yeah, anywhere is good, anywhere is good. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant in here. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, I'm good here. Oh, don't, don't take your seatbelt up before I'm oh. driving. Uh, I thought you were stopping. No, I wasn't oh, stopping. Oh, you're not, I'm not yeah. stopping. Please. You can stop if you like. I don't mind jumping in the seatbelt. No, it's okay, right. I'm good. Are I can sure? do with a bit of fresh air, yeah, yeah. Okay. You stopped, yeah. Well, thank you very much for the lift. Let me just put the light on, I can't uh, see anything. The light, um, I don't know if you don't want to leave anything here. I think I've got everything. Yeah, uh, that's it. Thanks for the lift. Uh, Drive safely. You need to unlock me. Oh, so it's it's locked. Locked. Thank you for torturing me. It is my turn now, though. Alright, take care. I'll see you ladies. So yeah, that's that. I need to find my car and get the hell out of here. I mean, uh, it's nice of them to nice of them to drop me after torturing me eleven hours. I don't have much energy to speak really, that's why I didn't give him so much abuse in the car. I need to get home. Hey, B. Out. Oh. Oh, bitch. Bitch. Uh -huh. Bitch. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Bitch. 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 Hey, Chanka, solicitors will be sending you a letter very soon. Bitch.